Hey people, I'm fixing to destroy some myths that about 100% of the people in the world believe is true. Some people say Cleopatra was this great beauty. Some people say her nose was so big that it could be knocked off in one single swipe. I'm guessing homosexuality was so rampant in Greece that the gene pool kind of favored women that looked more manly. There were several artists that pictured her not so favorably. You know, they say this is either Cleopatra or, or her daughter, and I would guess her daughter from Mark Anthony because that's who it looks like. I've been reading this Book of the Dead a couple weeks, learning about the country this in old times. They say it wasn't until 1818 when they figured out what six of the characters were. They say this language was totally forgot. They say they did this by comparing the old Greek, how they knew it was pronounced, to the old cartouches that they knew the name was in there. And this was the main two, was Cleopatra and Alexander that they had in Greek. And I'm fixing to prove they got it wrong, and that's why this all sounds like unga bunga in intui tem tef kau zent pot. Netru Zoo. Yeah, they ain't got it right. You know, they'll define this as, you know, Philo, the love, and the father. Potter, P-A-T-O-R. You know, Philo is love, and it's also the cat, the feline. And, you know, Potter is father, but it's also the federal. It's also the Potter, the creator. And so this is where he started. And, you know, you see this on the end of all the feminine in Egypt. And so they knew that was feminine. The T and the O-V. And it's where the et feminine suffix come in French. And so they gave this the Q and the L. And they assumed this was the A, the A, and a an O. And a P-D-R or a P-T-R or a F-T-R or a F. DR. And so they were getting this as Cleopatra and just the determinative over here, feminine determinative. But what it says is I got it from my daddy. Cleopatra was not a personal name. If we look at Cleopatra's family tree, you know, she come from Ptolemy and Cleopatra the fifth, although she was the seventh. And Ptolemy's parents was Ptolemy and Cleopatra. And Cleopatra's parents were were Cleopatra and Ptolemy. Bernice is the other sister that took the throne for a while. But all the parents of all these are always Ptolemy and Cleopatra. They're always Ptolemy and Cleopatra. And so this is the name that means the father of the king, the mother of the king. You know, it's royal blood. And it even says even more than that. It says godly blood in the name. So this Greek name, it was more like the cat father. You know, it was like a play on the godfather, except it was a woman, it was a cat, the philo father. So they got one, two, three, they got four letters correct. And the determinative kind of, they don't understand what it is, but this is actually, this is actually an onk here. And this is actually an onk here when you're reading it back the other way. But what this says is, is Q-L-I-O-N, the fly-on. And so this is, you know, the, the cat. And so this is an A, and that's why you see all the way through that book of dead. They interpret words that are just three A's because they have so many letters they say is A, and none, that's, none that are L. But this is the L, E-L. And you see this, uh, they call it a noose, but it doesn't look like a noose. It looks more like a lem sack. You see it bigger here and still different here. But this is a lem sack. It's um, if you're planting grapes, you know, this is what it looks like when you're bringing rootings to plant. And so this is either a L-E-M or just a E-M, you know, in the L here. And the fly on Elohim. This is the creator gods and the, the third word in the Hebrew Bible. And they know what this means, you know, uh, that's where they got this word for the lunar excursion module. It's a lem. 
It's a little sperm that shoots out the end of the dick. You know, they shoot this big old dick out at the moon, and then the lunar excursion model is just a little limb that comes off the end of it. You know, in Danish, uh, the limb is a limb or a penis. You know, coming from old Dutch, a glue, any sticky adhesive, the limb. In Middle Irish, it was the elm tree are uh, weak, powerless, impotent. You know, just a little limb come off the end. You know, it's a penis in Norwegian or a trap door and a penis in the Swedish. But I believe it's coming from a limb. You know, you take cuttings off your grape and go create a new orchard. You know, it's a limb. They still do that today, you know. You take and scratch the the bark and wrap some some wet moss and burlap around it and let them roots get growing in there and then just cut that limb off and go plant it a limb it's just the way people did it before they had these plastic containers you know in the beginning created a limb you know in in rosette bear a limb and that makes more sense of why they give so many words in here the meaning god and so this was the creator gods, was the limb, go out and put out the cuttings to begin the orchard. You know, it's more work than that. First, you've got to plant a good root stock and get it going, good roots. Then you got to come back and graft it. You know, they're creators. You know, so a, a cle, you know, a Q-L-I-O-N to cleon, you know, and to attach a limb. And then the federal, F F D R E L of the federal. And this is T O V I. This is T and this is a O V a little egg. It's a O V I O B I. You know, and it's two B and that's where that Cleopatra comes in. You know, it was all planned marriages in the family, you know. And if you were a Cleopatra that meant your father was of the right quality and and you could become the queen and if you were a Ptolemy you know it meant you had the the right parents and you were eligible to marry a queen you know and, and that's a 2B and Cleon a limb you know a sprout attach on a sprout of the federal F-D-R-L-E-L -L, and the federal to be and then this reads back the other ways and it's not just names that go in cartouches you see this Bernie's here, it shows why they gave this G the K. And you can see in that that first, the BR here, you know, the Ba-Ra is a little seedling in a pot. Ba-Ra, in the beginning, the creation. And you can see in order to force this Arsino on here, they had to leave the L out totally, where they give it the L in Cleopatra. But sometimes it's the whole sentence inside there of the gods the father lovers the heir of pata the chosen one the mighty one of the ka form of ra beloved and all it is is this is like the wall you see in the hebrew writings it means these are ancient words ancient phrases that read backwards and forwards and so when you read it back the other way it has an onk on each end and so this is to be and then of it, O-V-I-T, of it. And it is the, it is the God, is the life, is the life force. You know, they say the Ankh represents life and death. And when I look at it, you know, if I saw it on a boat, I would call it a obit. You know, a obituary, O-B-I-T, O-V-I-T, of it. And so it's to be a vital, O-V-I-T-E-L, a vital. A vittle, that's the word to divide between live vittle. You know, the D is the T or the D, the vittle. You know, and he divided, why vittle? But a vittle, you know, actually means to fill. You know, you eat your vittles to fill, eat your possum. And, you know, to vittle the red, the red and family. And so I believe this is just the E-M, so they're getting the L from here. Reading this way, the L-E-M. And here it's of the red fem, F-E-M-L, L-Y, the family. And then O-N, you know, the lion, F-E-M-L-I-O-N-Q, the onk, 
the family onk, the cle to cle on limb federal to be, a vittle red to fill red family onk. You know everybody in the red family they'll be they'll be toting the onk or this red bandana on their head. You know the red family. You know the Cleon limb federal to be. And a vittle, you know, is to fill, but it's, you know, of, of a tell, T-L, what tells them off, of a tell of the red family onk. And you see they're trying to confuse it up here. This is a different letter. You know, this, this is the Q, this is an N-Q. And so it doesn't read right when you're coming back up. It's reading with a, a O-N-N-Q now. So you can tell this is somebody who didn't understand the language. So Cleopatra is not a woman. It means, you know, the blood of the father, Pata. You know, Pata, the father of the Egyptian gods. You know, the creator god and maker of all things. And you'll see him down here, you know, with the son of Ptolemy, Alexander, and Bernice, and Arsino, the sister lover. It was all about the family. Irene, the daughter of Ptolemy. And these are all the beloved of Ptah, the Ptah Amor. You know, this is all in the inscriptions in the reign of Ptolemy. I was looking into these eyes in that last movie, and you see them often come up with this. Looks like a small cartouche, and it's the ancient sign for or. You see it comes up often on top here between these two eyes. And so it's telling me, you know, the first eye is reading as on, or, and the second ride's reading as airy, and it's honorary. It's where your word honorary comes from, ancient Egyptian word. Anytime somebody makes you a plaque, it was an honor. It's where, it's where the word comes from, the honorary. The honorary. You know, the honorary. Airy is the maker, the honor maker. They'll call this the shin ring, but it's the ancient image of an oar lock on the side of a boat. You see it comes from this more ancient, the row. And I explained that movie yesterday, you know, why I give the on for the missing eye. You know, a horse was missing his left eye, and it was on means missing, ain. And so, you know, honor, airy means you didn't really pass the course, you know, and it's on or not. He didn't row the boat. He's honorary. So, for everybody who thinks they know the difference between a throne and a shrine, this is a throne, and this is a shrine when you're worshiping to the porcelain god. And the ancient Egyptian word for this was the crapper. And so this story they give you about John J. Thomas Crapper founded the toilet and during the war somebody was in England and they saw his name on the crapper and they brought it back to America. Yeah, this is all totally made up. Most of everything you find in Wikipedia is all made up to keep you stupid. It's an ancient word, old time word for a hangover. You know, you got crapulence. And it's spelled out, you know, K-R-A-P-R, -R, the crapper. Oh, go to the shrine at the crapper, K-R-A-P-R. -R. If you go on just a dump, you know, on a throne, then you lift top, the T-P-R, to lift topper. So this is the third letter, you know, A-B-G. And so it's possibly uh, pronounced as the C or the C-H, you know, the the cat house to, to lift the top. You can see on this onk here, you know, on the top of it shaped like an egg, the ovi and the T, you know, it's of it. And you see the onk here, you know, the N C H of it onks. Hello there. I'm Howard K. Bluntley, speaking to you from Detroit, Michigan. We're here for another interview with people who make America great. How come you cooked up such a big batch? You fixing to tonic the whole town of Beverly Hills? That's just a starter. Then I'm going to commence on the rest of the country. Everybody? No, just the Democrats and the Republicans. 
You got to remember, Granny, come election time, them two parties says a lot of things about each other. That's why I ain't taking no chances. I'm tonic in both sides. <laughs> I'm glad to see you ain't partial. <laughs> well, <laughs> here's looking at you, Jeff. <laughs> Looking at me. <laughs> Tells me folks are going to talk about this election for years to come. <laughs>